John North Willies was quite an entrepreneur. He was born in 1873 here in Canandaigua. And in the center of downtown, he had a bicycle shop that uh, he owned and operated until the economic depression of the 1890s put him out of business. When Willie's exited the bicycle business, he took a job as a traveling salesman. One of his stops was in Elmira, and while he was there in 1898, he made the acquaintance of a sporting goods store operator who was bitten with the urge to go to the Klondike and pan for gold. Willie's purchased his sporting goods business and operated that in Elmira. He very shortly after that added uh, a line of uh, automobiles, the Overland, that was manufactured in Indianapolis, Indiana. What he found was that the company was in disarray, that they had fallen on financial hard times and they were about to file for bankruptcy. In the space of about one weekend, Willie's did a miraculous turnaround with the company. He convinced their creditors to loan them even more money to keep them in business. Then he wrote a personal check to the creditors and to the bank. From then on, for the rest of his life, it was known as Willie's Overland. He seemed to spare no expense and no effort in putting the latest technology and good tooling into the automobiles. And the Willys automobile very quickly gained a reputation for being reliable. Willys popularity extended to the fact that advertisements for the Willys Overland automobile usually said in them that this car was made by a Canandaguan. And on the several occasions that he returned to Canandaigua, there was a parade and a Willie's Day was uh, declared by the mayor and city council. On at least one occasion, he gave a major speech on the uh, front lawn of the county courthouse. <laughs> 